Hey everyone, Silver Stiller here. Uh, surprise visit to my LCS today. And uh, before everyone says anything, his face does get revealed in the reflection of the glass a little bit. My local coin shop guy, he's okay with that. In fact, he's going to do a full face reveal here soon when we start having him for an episode or two per month. Anyway, I didn't really do an intro into this. I just wanted to clear a few things before you watch the video. Enjoy. So, here I am at the LCS again. Bunch of constitutional, and you just said you did what? Pulled a 16D. Where'd you find that one at? A uh, bag of bulk. A bag of bulk? Bag of bulk dimes, yeah. And you're just sitting there searching through them? Yeah, I, we, you know, we go through and put books together that we have for people who want them. And, uh, and this is all stuff I'm getting ready to dump it right into the dump buckets. All them dimes? Yep, all these Mercury dimes, Roosevelt dimes, more quarters, halves. <sighs> all getting ready to get put into the dump buckets. Unless, of course, somebody wants to buy them, you know, and get the book to go for free. Well, you, uh, we had talked today about uh, constitutional silver. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And uh, what is that? Was that the bulk of it before that, or that's including that? In there's your books? well, I I know that we have well over there's over thirty dollars face at least just in what's sitting there, and, and yeah, there's more. I got more in the back too, but all I right. haven't gotten through it all yet. So <laughs> uh, I've got bars in the safe that we haven't put out. If you want me to pull out some bars, I got some four ounce, five ounce, a couple rounds. Let me see. <laughs> and bars. Any, any of this stuff that you want, obviously, it's just at the same price. There's no, you know, no, there's no difference in this stuff as far as I'm concerned. So, so you're still selling me today is what August twenty eighth, mm -hmm. and spots at what eighteen forty ish. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Eighteen forty right you're now. You're selling me the Constitution. You said uh, eleven five. Mm -hmm. Eleven point five. Yep. Eleven point five times face, which is well below melt. Let's see what melt is on them right now. So uh, let's see here. Silver coinage. So melt is actually 13.2 times, and you're getting it at 11.5. So yeah, yeah, yeah. well below melt. The math works. The melt would be a dollar 32 per dime. Right. I'm selling them to you for a dollar 15 per dime. What are you selling your eagles for? Uh, today they'd be 19 bucks, 19.20 actually. Yep. Are you are you pulling more? Uh, oops. That's okay. Feeling good though. Yeah. Yes, yeah, definitely. So I just finished this book with that 16D. This is for hopefully for a customer. He's made me an offer on it already. But uh, here's the 16D. Winning. Come here. So that book is complete with all dates, including the 16D. Let me pop that out so you can see it. But 1916. You would say condition on that is good? Uh, it's a little bit, probably about a good seven, good eight, yeah. So how much would that go for alone? Um, probably in the neighborhood of around 500. 500? Yeah, give or I take. I gotta touch one. I don't think I've yeah, ever yeah, touched ahead, one before. Ahead. That's, uh, yeah, showing the first one. No, no, it's looking at this. You just dump them. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. That's what a finished book looks like. Wow. Finished book. So what would you, what do you sell the whole <laughs> book for? Just for giggles? Um, you know, I, like I said, I have an offer on that one, so it's not really fair to that person, but, uh, if you don't want to say it, you don't have to say it. Yeah. Like, holy crap, there's got to be something wrong with this market guide. Market guide has got to be broken. Matt, will you grab that, grab the gray sheet and bring it over? I'm just curious what the difference is. Is that the old one? No, this is the market guide. I need the gray sheet, the new one. Yeah, they're saying uh, the 80 coin sets 13,777, coin sets 12,300. 
Wow. In AU, well, that'd be an AU50, which obviously this isn't AU50 condition. But. Right. Obviously, I wouldn't ask that for it. I'm just going looking what the sheets are at. I love looking at the sheets and seeing how crazy it is. All right, let's see. Mercury's, Mercury's, Mercury's. So, a good four is 685 according to Gray. A VG8 is 1175 for the 16D by itself. Wow. And right there it is if you want to look at it. And then, so, the 77 coin set would be 896, and the 80 coin set, which obviously this is that's the 80 coin set because it has all the rarities, would be. Fourteen forty-eight seventeen, so fourteen hundred forty-eight dollars for that set. I'd take twelve hundred. <laughs> the offer I've had just a tiny bit below that. All right. Right there, the key date. Yep, the sixteen D. Didn't she party? Did you have her out already? Yeah, I had her out. I popped her back I, in there. Yeah. <clears throat> fun, fun, fun. You just don't you don't see those every day. No, nope. yeah, that's for sure. No. All no. the low minting ones are, you know, are in there. It was like it's a complete set. So, right. Nice. Fun, fun, fun. Mm hmm. I had a set in a Dansko album last year that uh, we sold for eleven five, eleven thousand five hundred. But it was um, a fifty, probably fifty two to fifty five. You know, it's better than an AU fifty set, but not good enough, you know, to get to a MS sixty. So. Yep. So again, um, while we're doing it this Sunday, you said that you might have an auction you got to go to. Yeah, well, I definitely have to be at the auction, but mm -hmm. I don't know how late I'm going to have to stay. Okay. So um, as soon as I hear back whether or not I have to be there all day or not, mm -hmm. um, we've got uh, kind of a staffing issue with that one. Right. So uh, I've been having to cover a little bit. We don't want to hire somebody full-time for her. She's just out part-time. She has some health issues. And well, then, we'd easily come over here at night. We were thinking maybe like doing two eps. That way, sure. if it's a once a month thing or yeah. twice that we come in, but we do some toying around, we come up with an idea for the series and what yeah. you want to start off with. I don't yeah. know what you're, you're the brain, so you probably would not. <laughs> maybe just the first episode would be like an overall of asking some questions, what got you into it, all this other stuff, and what got me into it. I lost my mind. <laughs> I, think, I, well, we, I think we can and, all and, say and that. I lost right? my heart too. So uh, <laughs> and buying it all. <laughs> right. Uh, we did talk about the first one being about September 11th gold. Yes, I think we did talk about that. Yeah. 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 That could be like do an overall one and then do the next episode and then we'll, of that, and then mm -hmm. yep. you know you're you're the Penny King guy that I know of. You know, no, no. I mean. I used to not really hold a lot into it, but I think the more I've been around you, I'm starting to see that for a cheap denomination of just a penny, some yeah. of those suckers can be worth quite a bit of money. Well, so. I'll give you an example. We had a gentleman call me yesterday who said, and I quote, I've been looking for a hobby and I think I want coin collecting to be my hobby. What do you recommend I start with? I said, well, that's kind of a loaded question because everybody has to collect what they love. You really need to fall in love with whatever you're going to collect because you're going to be investing a lot of your time, energy, and probably money into buying it. Now, the other side of that coin is, is that what do you want your return on investment to be? Is it out of love? Is it out of sheer joy? Is it in the hopes that it's going to eventually pay you off and maybe also be profitable? Is it going to be an inherited item that you're going to leave to a family like an heirloom? So your motivation behind collecting is also part of what makes you decide whether or not you're going to collect a certain piece or not. You know, some people collect knives, some people collect guns, some people collect coins. But then inside each of those, everybody has their specialty. You know, you guys are the silver stackers. You absolutely love collecting silver. And mm -hmm. you love the, the beauty of the of the metal, the, the weight, the feel. You love to look at all the varieties of the mint creations. You love the artistic uh, history behind the U.S. mint items. You carry silver on your personage. So you're in love with the metal. But that didn't, that's not the end of your passion. Your passion goes further than that. You know, you've been stacking all these different varieties of things. And inside each of those, you have something you like more than others. So when you decide what to collect, you have to really fall in love with what you're collecting. So to answer this young man's question, I say young man, I think he was about 40. Um, I suggest that most collectors start with something that falls well within their financial ability to collect comfortably. So start with that. Say, okay... I'm a young kid, I'm a 10 or 12 year old, I can afford to buy you know, coins up to 15, 20 bucks periodically, I'm usually gonna be more like one and two dollar coins. You need to start with something inexpensive, probably you need to collect something like pennies or dimes. 
If you've got more money to invest, then you want to start with larger items, then you're welcome to do so as long as your pocketbook and your comfort level of buying. You know, I know people with lots and lots of money, but they don't like to spend it. So they're not comfortable buying high-end items. That's why they have lots and lots of money. That's true. That's true. In some cases. <laughs> the other trade-off to that, though, is, is that when you're looking at collecting something, it is going to be most likely something that's going to be in your possession for a long time, and you probably don't want the need to sell it. Um, so with that being said, if you are on a tighter budget, it's harder sometimes to sell the copper items, such as pennies, um, than it is to sell the silver items. You know, silver items always have that, you could always say, well, yeah, this is a 1929 mercury dime that's not worth but $3. In reality, it's got a dollar and 30 cents in silver in it today. You know you can always get that dollar 30. Well, a wheat cent, to give you an example, a common wheat cent as an LCS, we buy them at two to three cents per common wheat cent for the late dates. Uh -huh. The early dates we pay a little bit more for, obviously, and then, then you get into the rarities and they're more. But if you just take the common date stuff, let's say you take a, a 1919 dime, I mean, not dime, a 1919 uh, wheat penny from Philadelphia, not super expensive, not super rare, worth 10, 10 to 15 cents in average circulated condition. A novice collector can get into those and fall in love with them. You take the same coin, um, or the same year rather, in a different coin, you go into a 1919 dime, now suddenly instead of being, you know, 10, 20 cents, or a really good example for a few dollars, now you've got a mercury dime that's going to be a minimum of 3 to $5 for a good example, up into the 20s and 30s for a mediocre example, or, a, you know, a high-end graded one could still be $150, $200. Then you jump that up and you go into the next denomination, you go into quarters and you have to exponentially multiply that because of the silver value in the coin is more. Just the melt value on those alone is, you know, three dollars right. and change today. Right. So you're not gonna buy them for less than three bucks. You're never gonna ever probably buy them for less than that. Then you multiply that times you go to the half dollars and you've done it again. You've doubled the value, so now you're gonna buy them for five and six bucks based on the silver value. That's for the, the calls, the damage, the low grade stuff. Yeah. The things that really most people melt down. You multiply that by a dollar, you're, you're doubling that up again, going to the dollar size. Now you've got a coin that's going to start at, you know, instead of five dollars, it's got twelve dollars and ninety cents into well, th today it's got thirteen dollars and seventy-five cents in silver in it, approximately. Mm -hmm. So you obviously aren't going to buy them for less than thirteen seventy-five, and nobody sells you Morgan dollars or peace dollars for thirteen dollars unless you buy five or six thousand of them at a time. Even if I call the big mints and, or the big smelters and the big bullion dealers and buy them, you're looking at you know fifteen, sixteen times face, so sixteen dollars a piece. For a 1922 peace dollar, or a 1921 Morgan dollar, that's mm -hmm. what it cost me to buy 5,000 of them. Right. So it's 5,000 times $16, not $16 a coin. So when you come into a coin shop and we've got them out for sale for $16 and $17, you know, they are a much better value than you buying five or 6,000. The trade-off, though, is that you're getting one coin for $16 where they could buy 50 wheat cents for that mm -hmm. and almost fill their book. So... The combination of financial ability and passion comes together in coinage in a unique way. So when people are looking into what they want to get into, and I want to answer that young man's question, the answer is it's not just a yes or no, you should start with this. The other thing is you have to remember that everybody's slated. I'm a penny guy and a Morgan guy. So the two things I love are penny and Morgan dollars. Obviously, I'm passionate about all coinage or I wouldn't be a, a coin dealer. But right. the fact is if I had to choose only two things to collect in the entire world, it would be pennies and Morgan dollars. Um, so it's sort of, you got, you're on one side of the spectrum and then completely on the other side. Yeah. And I, but I also have to tell people, you know, if you ask my opinion, I'm going to tell you two different opinions. I personally love collecting pennies, even though today I can afford to buy and collect in dollars. I can afford to collect in much bigger items. But the reality is I still love pennies. I love the art. I love the history. You know, we're talking about a coin that's got so much controversy behind the very first issue. And then you've got rarities and you've got unusual things that happened at the mint creating the 22 no Ds. You got all this stuff happening. Yeah. Um, modern uh, Modern Horizons. Mm -hmm. Anything that's a, a, uncommon, it's not in our, in our uh, cell database. What are we selling those for? Should be in the cell database. No, I looked it up, lightly played, and um, near Matt, no entry. Okay, give me one second, I'll be right there. <clears throat> Excuse me for just a second. Go ahead. Peruse the goodies. I can look it up on TCG. Yeah, from there. just uh, use TCG and take off a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, back okay. it off the TCG a little bit. Sure. That'll work, Mark. Well, yeah, I don't, know. I don't know why it's not popping up in there. It should be in there. I'll double check. Again. I'll, I'll it. Uh, did you have it? Did you have it toggled on sell, not on buy? On sell. I have it on sell. Okay. Yeah. It should be in there. I don't know why. Did you update the database? Uh, I don't know. Why did I? All right, we're back. 
And we were uh, still talking about the penny and the Morgan. I think you were starting around to the end of it. Yeah, basically the the, the whole point of, of my conversation with this young man and when you ask, you know, what are you passionate about collecting or how do you get started in it, is I try to steer people to collect a good combination of what they're passionate about or what they think they th is the most attractive coin that they can afford. So everybody loves coins. I mean, personally, I absolutely love pre-Civil War gold. I've got mm. a few pieces, but I'm not going to put the registry set together pre-Civil War gold. You're talking about a million dollar collection. I'm just not going to tie up a million dollars in a coins that are not necessarily something that I'm going to hold in my hand every day. On the other hand, if I came across the very first strike of the very first Morgan dollar and it was it happened to be signed by, you know, hmm. uh, by Mr. Morgan himself or, you know, something like that, then I might be tempted to spend a million bucks on that. But that, that the difference on that is I'm passionate about that particular coin. So when you at, when someone asks me what do you collect or how do you get started in coin collecting, my answer is is a little bit complicated, but basically you should collect the coin that you love the most that you can afford. And start there, and then when your budget grows, if you're, let's say, you are in love with, um, I don't know, Civil War tokens, uh, or you're in love with pre-colonial coppers, you know, all of those things can be vastly expensive and immense collections. I mean, if you think about the fact that the the guide on uh, on Civil War tokens is thousands of combinations of dies, that in order to put together a complete set of those, you'd have something like I don't know, sixty two hundred coins, I think, is what they said, or something like that. So with that being said, that'd be able to have them in all the varieties and in different conditions and all that. So that would be a very expensive collection to get into, but if you can afford it, mm -hmm. it would be a lot of fun to put together. So on the other hand, a new guy, new collector, I suggest they start with, you know, what is your budget? You know, are you are you a few hundred dollar collector or are you a few thousand dollar collector or are you a, you know, multiple thousand dollar collector? And then say, which coin do you love the most and go for that? Because it doesn't. It also really doesn't matter. Even if you can afford a billion dollars worth of coins, but you love pennies, you should go for pennies. Right. If you happen to love Indian head cents, you should go for Indian head cents. If you love, it doesn't really matter what, and of course all of this I'm talking about right now is pertaining to U.S. currency because that's my, my forte is U.S. currency. As mine. And coins, mine yeah. as well. Yes. As most of our viewers. Yeah. yeah. We have a well, few I mean, Australians and yeah. and Irish. I really do like the Perth Mint, too. Oh, yeah. Perth There's some great stuff. Some we had a bunch of spiders in the other day. Did you? Yeah, with, with some spiders in. Well, let's, let's get down that to That doesn't the, sound good. Well, they, I got yeah. It. I got it. <laughs> I would probably be interested yeah, a bunch in, of spiders in that's all 90% halves. Yeah, everything in this one's 90. These are 40s. Those are just commons. We had some people asking for them, so we threw some out there. That's 90. That's 90. Uh, that's barber stuff. Looks like you got that's clad. That's all ikes. clad, yeah. That's all clad Ikes, yeah. And these are nineties. Uh, of course, these you know the rules on these guys are a little bit different. Right. Um, yeah, I can do seventeen on those guys right now. Well, let's get out the yeah that first. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bag and a tray, and we'll just start counting. Yeah. How's that sound? Sounds good. I think we've done this before, haven't we? We, we we've done it a few times. And anything that's in those books, we can pop out, or you can buy the whole book and put the book with you, whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah, I think I was wanting the, uh, I saw you had a 32 quarter in there. Yeah. You know I would want one of those. I don't think I have a 32 yet. Well, if you have a book, because that's the other thing, is right there's the book. It's already partially started set. All right. Easy way to do math there, you know, we just count and, math, count and multiply. You might just do that. I mean, you're selling that all at face yet, too, yeah, right? Yeah, it's all the same price. There are a lot of candies in here. I told you it was at least $30 worth of face. I was just guesstimating. All right. We have one person. Looks like five seventy-five. One, two, three. Uh, this book has 575. Okay. If you want the book. I'm thinking probably yes. Can we get the book as well? What do you got on face there? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 50. No. 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 Oh, 18, right? No, I don't think so. 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You're trying to cheat. You're trying to cheat yourself by a dollar. Oh, all right. Well, we'll take all those for sure, okay. and we'll take the book. 
started okay. for us already. All right, we got to start there. They take they take two books, don't they? For all yeah. the silver to go from forty five. Yeah, they go from forty six up. Yeah, I don't know if we've got any. Now we're going to have to go through our quarters. Well, might have to. The good thing is we don't have a lot of quarters to go through. No, that's what we're trying to get more of here lately. Our quarters, quarters. I think we're going to get those quarters too. Go for the quarters. You like the quarters. Well, we've been trying to beef up on quarters lately. Because they're harder to find. This buy. one's not got coins in it, but I'll just throw it into the deal to help you out a little bit. This one starts at um, this one starts at 60, or 1960. The one in between, I don't have one here. There might be one over in the used books. And then they go, they, I mean, they're actually beyond that too, but this, this will get you up through all the silver. Right. So you're, you're, missing, you're missing the 46 to 60. And there might be one over there. The 46 to 60. So I think we're only going to be partially filled. Of course, the clad years won't be so hard to get at all. Nope. You just find them and change, but. That's not. That's the non-silver. Right. Yeah. Did you find one? Oh, you I think did. So. It says 60 on it. Is all it says, but it looks like it's the one. No, that's the, the same as this one. Okay. You need nope. a forty-six. To, you need a forty-six to sixty. Hey, David. Yeah, you need a number two book. This we've got. I've got a one and a three. Apparently, I don't have a two up here. I don't think I have any over here. Let me look. Yellow. Here's a two. Bingo supplies, not that I know of. She found it. I got one. That's Yay. Not, okay, that's Nana Cola. That's not bingo supplies. That is the Did you find number two? Yes. Cool. I'm going to need a uh, tube for that one, okay. too. Or do I need two? It's like I'm going to need two. Two tubes? Two tubes. Are those those ones that uh, I've been getting lately for, like, the guard boxes that they call them? Have you heard I, about the guard boxes? Yeah, and I don't know if I have any more of that size. That's fine. I'm a long way from needing a box yet. I think the only ones I've got now are these guys. I, I'm nowhere near Talking Bullion's constitutional. That guy is a constitutional king. He gets great deals. He gets all these great deals on constitutional silver. He'd be really proud of me right now coming in and getting constitutional silver. Hi, Talking Bullion. And this is TB2. Yeah, do you have any of those uh, the white square ones for the quarters or no, not? You're out? Oh, you're out. I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear you. Well, for quarters, I do. Quarters right here. Yeah. Yeah, toss, I've got. toss in uh, one or two of those. Two of those. Yeah, two. Yeah, I don't have any for halves. That's fine. If you got just the regular tubes, yeah, you do for the halves. I see them. Yeah, I grabbed the regular tubes. I just, I'm out of the square ones. I got to order some more. All right, so we're definitely interested in those. Definitely interested in that. Definitely not interested in class. <laughs> but he knows that I need to fill it if I want to get well, a book filled. That's fill, that one book has yeah. is partially filled. Right. So this is the this is actually the, where it takes off from that. Right. So something we can work on in the yep. future, relatively cheap or wise, not. or not. She's look at how anti-clad she is. Anti-clad. I've made her a total silver fiend now. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I can't wear gold, so. All right, and probably, what am I up to now? Let's see. You said $30, so I still got some space yet. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, you can, I got I can, Oh, I know you do. You'll you're, sell me. You're 2275 face right now. Okay. So let's, uh, let's dig those quarters out. Okay. Maybe you can fill some of your books. Yeah. 
I just love the sound of silver. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to look at the years. And... Nah, I'll just throw them in there. Okay. I already got the 32 in the book, so. Right, that's the, the 32s are the, the early years are the harder ones to find. Right. You're going for Washington's right now, right? I, I don't care. Yeah. Bring, put, put the Standing Liberties in there, too. Okay. Some wore out walkers. They get that way. Yep. One, two, three, four, they five. All kinds There's six dollars face there. They had all kinds of problems with that coin, with the neck and everything. We do mm -hmm. I got that 2.5 ounce Liberty one from the net. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like that coin. Her face on there, her head looks like it's half blown off. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are getting milk spots. I already got milk spots on them and polished die marks are on the coin. Mine has a polished die mark. I got lucky and didn't get the milk spots. Well, the die mark's but supposed to be there. That's how they did it. 100 bucks for 2.5 ounces. A little high. It got me there. And and I missed out. I didn't want it at first, the Pride of Two Nations. You've heard about that one? Yeah, yeah. And I'd like it got sold out like within hours of being on the Internet. They just got some back in stock from the return cancellation, so I went and got one. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, now I don't have to worry about fear of missing out because of her. Had she wants that, well, she wants that uh, American Silver Eagle that's mm -hmm. done in a special way this time again. But different Enhanced than, uh, reverse proof, something mm -hmm. like that, I think. Well, we'll know here soon. It's supposedly sitting at our P.O. box right now when we come back in town, so we'll have that too. Um, what do I got left? If I wanted to stay at the $30 mark, it's only because I'm thinking about getting those two eagles. Well, maybe something else. I mean, just start working on another partial tube. So you're at twenty-eight seventy-five right now, which means you have two and a quarter to spend somehow or another before you get to your thirty-dollar line. <laughs> right. Um. This is twenty-two piece dollars. I've, I've never gotten any coals, too many coals on Morgans and piece dollars yet. I don't know whether to start or not. Well, you're not. The thing about those is you're really not collecting those for the silver value. I mean, you are, but the silver value is your insurance on those. It's not really, you know. Right. I just think I'd rather, yeah, that's where she wants to go. She wants to see that. Eh, not as special as I thought. It's not showing up well. You got the glare of the light there. Put it somewhere else. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I was expecting more. Yeah, who's, putting, who's, putting, who's putting that one out? Do you know? Uh, I don't remember. I should say. This is African Lion. This is yep. Republic of Chad. Uh, Chad. So somebody else is probably minting that, like Scottsdale or something like It'd that. That'd be probably. my guess. Yeah, a lot of that stuff is they're actually made by a private mint right. endorsed by the government. So it was a maple down there. Mm -hmm. A maple without any... Uh, Milk spots on it. Well, there is one right there above her head. Well, that's, you know, there you go. Then we know it's definitely a maple. <laughs> the Eagles 19, which one, which one is this? This is a 2014. Let's take both the Eagles. Of course. Of course. And you want one? You want that one? She wants that one. What are you selling that one for? Uh, that one would be, uh, well, it, it'd be the same. Yeah, I can give it to you for the same. I'm already giving them to you literally at our normal silver price, not at the Eagle price. The Eagle so price would be $22. You said that's 19? 19, 19, 19, 19, 20, 19, 20. 1920. You want the maple too? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't seem that interested in the maple. Why is he interested in the Britannia so much? Because that one's nice. They have a tendency to milk spot too. Well, that one didn't. I guess so. they all do, but some are worse than others. And we've mm -hmm. heard bad things about the maples and the Britannias in particular. So it's 17. Yeah, wasn't it? I'm surprised you hadn't grabbed that Philharmonic yet. I know. I've been thinking yeah. about where's my total sitting uh, at. If I take these three, where's my? Head. If I take these three, where's my total with all the constitutional? Okay. And don't forget, you're going to charge me for the books too. No, I'll just give you the books. All right. He's just giving me the books. And the tubes? Mm -hmm. oh, see, this is among one of 10,000 reasons why I come here. 
Nice little pile of fractional going on there again too. find out what my damage is here yep just about to give it to you here just doing the math twice you know I don't like to make a mistake nope that's fine don't want to do a mistake for me or you right now you are at 387.85 you want the Philharmonic do you yeah you do alright throw that one in and then, and then that's it we're going to leave the maple and the lion, I think. Unfortunate. I was hoping for more on the reverse. Huh. It just seems like a lot plain. That's all. No. Wait. I was trying to get the light. You kind of have to move with it. It's just like a It's just silhouette. really plain, yeah. I was expecting more. So $407 and a nickel. So 407 bucks. $407. Yippers. From Apollo Constitutional. Yippers. Four rounds. All right. Well, we're going to end this video. You will be seeing more of Kurt here real soon. We're going to start doing a sit down. We'll get tripods set up and all, and we'll start picking on some subjects. Anyway, remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.